Hello from the hangar at Biggin Hill. I've come to check on the progress of our annual and uh, unfortunately it is not good news. Uh, we were hoping for a cheap annual this year because we've had some quite expensive maintenance um, so far this year with the magnetos, the ignition harness and so on and so forth. Um, it couldn't actually be worse than it's turned out to be because the engineers here have uh, condemned the engine and uh, as you can see it's been stripped down um, they've basically found uh, that there was some soot um, on the exhaust valves uh, the compressions were very very low uh, and they managed to get the compressions back up but um, they then took the cylinders off to inspect the camshaft and the cam lobes and uh, have found that they are badly worn and so the engine has been condemned we can't fly it anymore and so as a group we've got um, some pretty uh, serious decisions to make about whether we pay to have this overhauled or we scrap the plane that's basically the long and the short of it now here are the two cylinders uh, that were taken off the aeroplane and they were taken off because of some telltale signs of trouble what they noticed was that there were some exhaust deposits uh, on the bottom here. And what you might just be able to see is that this one looks a little bit discoloured compared to this one. Uh, one of these I think is the inlet, one of them is the, out the outlet. And the dust discoloration there is an indication that exhaust gases were leaking. So having found those leaks and, and found that the compressions were low they had to take the cylinders off uh, to then have a look at the uh, camshaft and the, uh, the cam lobes. Now what we're looking at here uh, is into the engine and a sort of cam shaft that runs down the engine to the cylinder right at the front and that uh, silver bit at the top there, the bluey silver, grey silver, not the shiny bit at the bottom, that is one of the cam lobes and according to the engineers here that is badly worn and so it's not providing the, the same amount of power than it would uh, obviously need to do so uh, that's really the killer and that's the reason why the engine is being condemned it's going to have to be sent off uh, to be overhauled it's uh, no longer airworthy it's really interesting seeing the aeroplane taken apart looking at all the different uh, components that you can't ordinarily see you know for the first time I can see where the alternator is you know normally it's uh, sort of shrouded by the rest of the cylinders and also good to sort of you know some of the inspection panels have been taken off and right at the back there I can look and see where the cables run to the elevator so really interesting to sort of have a look and also very reassuring um, what, seeing the annual being done and to the kind of detail that they're going into um, they're right now just finishing up calibrating the um, the instruments the altimeter the airspeed indicator and so on and uh, you know, it's, it's comforting as a pilot to know that the work is being done in that kind of detail. Right, the annual's almost complete now. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, the engineers to finish up doing what they're doing. Uh, meanwhile, the group has got a decision to make. Um, we've got some money in the bank, but nowhere near enough to cover the cost of overhauling the engine. Um, we've probably got about half of what we need, so uh, the group is now going to have to decide what to do. Uh, and uh, work out how we're going to raise the money um, to pay for the overhaul but uh, as you can see Oscar Romeo is grounded for the time being.